Oh, I have my mic. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Bull and Kool Aid. Um, I do have my mic on this time, which is a joke that you'll get if you watch the other video that I'm going to post up, <laughs> where we just did an entire playthrough video and tour of these different machines. Um, and I had no audio whatsoever. I did not turn my microphone on. Um, I'm here with Pritch. Right. Say hey to everybody. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Right, All right, yeah. and Q is around too, even though he's doing something else. And Magic Sausage has been poking his head in every now and then while he's playing Risk. So, uh. Big turtle. Playing what? Hi. Right. Nothing, I'm just being an ass. Oh, there you go. That's Harry. Um. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Now, this, what, what we're gonna do is this is the automatic launching, automatic reloading, I guess, TNT can. And, uh,. What we're gonna do, we're gonna look at the different trajectories too while we're at it. I'm gonna go ahead and break some of these. Because he's been good enough to show me some lessons of why mine was shooting like it was. And uh, we're also gonna go over the amount of TNT you can have detonating something at one time. Uh, we'll go over that with the human launcher. Um, but first we're gonna look at this. This is the clock that he built to go with my launcher. I was having to switch it on and off each time to reload the next section. Um, and he showed me that it was definitely not necessary. Um, I've seen videos you know of, of TNT cannons similar to this, but we sat here and designed, did this one without looking at the video, so if it's really super close, then credit to whoever else is out there doing the same things. Uh, okay, Pritch, like the, you can go ahead and get it. Stuff. Well, helped. Yeah, right, here we go. Alright, so now we're going to see this first three? one. Yeah, it's... And there you go, that's the first one, blows up right there. Yep, I don't know how many we had going. There we go, that one's a little bit higher. Oh wow, that was really good, how many was on that one? And then the, now it's shooting it straight up in the air where you can't I see can't. it's going way up into the air like oh, that. There you go. Oh. And, hit and it's just, unfortunately it's blowing up in the sky, so we're not able to see it. Um, well, this one, no, this on one here hit um, a tree. Oh, yeah, it lands on this tree here, but it's um, okay. not registered. Um, as y'all can see, Nate just joined up. Hey, Nate, if you're in the party, you are in the party, right? Okay. We're also doing a YouTube yeah. video right now. Alright, so anyway, now here we are. It's at the end. It's not loading anymore. And you can see the pistons are still trying to push, but there's nothing for them to push. So he just goes over here and yeah. breaks the redstone, and that's how we turn it off for now. Um, and we'll get that fixed sorted later. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to run over here to this human TNT launcher. And we're going to prove oh, some yeah. Minecraft science here. Uh, the way Pritch and I met was on GameFAQs. He told me, I was talking about my cannon here, and he watched the video and said that uh, you only 20 TNT can actually affect the world here at one time. Um, anything more than that, the game doesn't handle it. Hey, Nate, I need you to come out of it just for a second. Um, anything more than 20 is just pointless. Um, and I didn't agree with him. I thought he was wrong. So I was like, come in here and look and I'll show you. I have 500 going off. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to launch him with all 540, whatever it is that's in here. And then we're going to launch him again with 20. And we're going to see who was right. So are you centered up? Oh, wait. Yeah, put this TNT. There's always one missing. Oh, yeah, it's back. Uh, right. All right. You centered up with the map now? All right, and yep. here we go. He's going to launch with 540 and some change TNT. And you can see him going up right oh, there. 44. So he just went up 244 from a starting level of 5. Yeah. And now, now I'm going to... Wait, i got to turn it off first. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, so now I've turned it off. He's going to load up 20 this time. 16 on the bottom. And then four with one on each side wall. Here you can see what he's doing there. One on each side wall on the second level. And that'll give him 20 altogether. And we're going to see how far up he's able to launch with 20. As soon as he switches over to his map. There we go. And go. So, weird. so here he is. He's going to launch with 20. Ooh, and you see he went... 245. 245 that time. So he actually went higher 
with 20 than he did yep. with uh, with 540 something. So he was right. I was 100% wrong. And then I was wrong again because we just made this entire video. And I didn't have a microphone on after we went through the entire thing. Um, one other thing we did do, and we're, I guess we're not going to do it again, but he went through and put four on each level for five levels. And it definitely went much shorter. It only went like a hundred and something. So it is better to go ahead and put one whole wraparound on the level. Uh, yeah. Hey, while you're down there, why don't you just put a wraparound on each of the first two levels? And let's see if... Because uh, that would be, what, 16 and 16? So that would be 32. Let's just see if it gives you any difference in height at all. Well, do, do it a bit higher because then you can actually see it for... Okay, there you go. It'll still go off at the same time, so it's fine. Alright, so now he's going to get in there, and I'm going to... I'm in third person, so I can just keep weapons. Alright, you ready? Yep. Yes, yeah, the whole, yeah, no, like, I don't know, two-thirds of a row just disappeared to me. 246. Okay, so with 32, he went up, like, one more, but that's not really relevant. The fact is, that's 12 more TNT, and he went up one block higher. So, there you have it. He was 100% correct. I'll run over here and show you this monstrosity that I started out with. I got this online from a PC gamer, and it works for shit on here. So, don't bother with that one. If you see this design, this layout, it barely shot me 20 blocks in the air. I didn't even see the water. And then, uh, this is our stronghold one more time. For those of y'all didn't remember that we... Cleared out an entire stronghold. Oh my god. And oh, wow. let's run over here. I think I built a couple other machines real quick. Well, I covered everything in climbable vines. It's my chicken farm right here. They drop their eggs down the water. And it's under what should have been a zombie pigman uh, zombie pigman spawner, but it doesn't work here like it does on PC. So now it's just decoration. Ah, that's clever. Yeah. And that's the airplane that I turned into a monster spawner way out there in the distance. Yeah, I remember and the video I saw actually. <laughs> <Don't be fell laughs> <out. laughs> yeah, yeah, right as I looked at it too. Now it's on peaceful, so that didn't happen. This used to be a diamond generator, and it actually works, but since I can never figure out why it works, I stopped even messing with it. But it did create diamond these generator. four. Yeah. And it really works, and it created these four diamonds blocks. But I don't know how it worked or what the glitch was that well, made it use work. Pistons. Yeah, I'm over here uh, behind my house. All right, I'm not the other guy. <laughs> huh? Didn't oh, you don't know which right one thing. my house is. There I am. Yeah. Right here, this. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like it. I guess I don't know. It pushes one, and it somehow pushes the same time yeah. and creates another one. Yeah, I've seen this sort of thing before. Oh, and it's broken somewhere. I think I flowed some water through here and messed something up, but... Yeah, it used to work really well. I just never really understood the science behind it, what what the glitch was that made it happen. So It's like, I don't know, was it two... Pu yeah, two pu pistons are pushing at the same time, and it's something like that. And then the one like, thing down here was pushing the block up. Yeah, and then, um... If it pushes at the same time, somehow we, like, break two of it. Yeah, that's all I know. Yeah, because these are sticky. Yeah, because they're sticky, they're both trying to pull it back with them. Or something. I don't know. Yeah, and they could be like more. Right. And you have made no how to make diamonds, it's supposed to be the old duplication glitch. <laughs> yeah. And uh -huh. then this is my automatic harvester, which only works in survival mode. And then it, over here, where are we oh, at? We're at eight minutes, oh we're at nine minutes. Okay. I can show you this real quick and maybe you can explain to me why this doesn't work. And I'm thinking it's just because of the glitch. An arrow shooter. Yeah. I'm thinking it's I, just because I yeah. Does yours work right? Uh, well, I did, but I destroyed it. It was part of my long-range cannon. I just, like, changed it a bit to shoot loads and loads and loads of arrows. It well, did, but, yeah. this one doesn't work, but, you know, in Tile of Day 10, they're supposed to fix the lag with TNT. And so I'm thinking that the reason this isn't working is because of the TNT lag. Whoa, Nate. Ah, oh, you just picked up a ton of arrows. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, you're good, man. I do it myself all the time, and Q did it the other day, too, so it's, it's a common thing. All right. So I'm going to go load this TNT. You go, you're supposed to do the timing. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? It just depends on the time. What, what is this? 
Where's the... How do you turn it on then? Right here, on this lever. Yeah, and what so does... Wait, we need another piston 40, on there. 12, 20... Oh! Oh! oh. 12, I just did the same damn thing. All right. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I mean, all the timing works, dude. You can even see the arrows falling down. It might and then... mean a little bit more time. Well, if it has more time, the arrows will hit the ground. Yeah, it'll stick in the ground. It was oh. on three point something I mean, eight seconds. Right there. Three, four, eight, twelve, six. All right. 20. Now back straight up, Nate. Oh, Nate, back up. Twenty-four. When you're done shooting them, just back straight up. That way, you don't go close enough to pull them to you. It's fine, man. I do it all the time too. But now we're at it ten minutes, to, almost eleven minutes. We gotta hurry up. It was set to um three point four seconds, which I just a bit too. All right, y'all back up, back up. Everybody back straight up. Everybody back straight up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and launch this. No, I think should be. Ah, oh, it does a little bit. Oh, that was pretty sick. And see, the ones I saw. My mom shot them even further than the actual TNT distance. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's my problem is that it doesn't shoot them as far as I would like. I guess it might be the amount of TNT. It will, how many is it? One, two, three, four. So I don't know, maybe. I saw like one version my friend built. Like he showed me ages ago, where like it was closer, something like this high, like two or three high. Yeah. And then he instantly shot them, and all of them went flying in the air, like two hundred hmm. distance. Alright, well, let's go ahead and wrap this video up because we're coming up on 12 minutes. So, I'd like to say thank you to Nate. Thank you a ton to Pritch for showing me the things he showed us today. And, uh, yep. so there you have it, guys. Any 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 extra effort you're putting into a cannon is unnecessary because 20 will send you the maximum distance that you can go, at least right now, in Xbox. And as far as the arrow thing, when Tile Update 10 comes out, I'm hoping that that weird glitch delay thing will stop it from being messed up and we'll just check it out then. So this is Bowling Kool-Aid and